Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today is a very exciting day. We got some info about a new legendary character, a new legendary Superman. The one from Rise of Krypton, Boss Superman, is coming as a playable character. And this is official, this is data mined, it's already in the game. The codes for this character, he's already done. Um, the only thing we need to do now is to wait for them to release this character. And one exciting part is how you can actually obtain him. He is available through chest, special offers, and versus challenges. So it's just like Batman in Jaguar Lagrad, you can and Brainiac, you can get him from versus challenger, which is amazing. I really like this type of stuff. I hope they are going to put Raven as a as a uh, versus challenge as well, and Darkseid and Arkham and Batman all the other legendaries so that uh, everybody has a chance to get them not only the luckiest people so uh let's read the description real quick by the way he looks absolutely awesome uh collector of words superman and his legendary teammates have a chance to not reset the combo counter of uh, this is just a description of the passive let's go directly into the passives these are the passives Supremacy of Reason, Side Effects, and Better You Than Me. Whoever come up with those names, need to give them a raise. Uh, Supremacy of Reason has a 60% chance to not reset the combo counter. Superman and his legendary teammates have a chance to not reset the combo counter with their specials. 60% uh, I have mixed feelings about this. Meanwhile, the passive is very cool and can... Uh, get you some extra damage here and there. It's not by any means broken and 60% is not a big chance uh, When you're considering how stupid RNG is in this game like Black Adam has a 75% uh, Chance for power reduction on the special one and sometimes you may actually do five special ones to trigger it only once So that's why I don't really like RNG in this game but nevertheless it's an interesting passive i really like the concept of it but i would turn it up at least to 70 75 percent or something like that but it may actually work decently it's not broken it may be fun second passive side effects heals for 50 percent of the damage his teammates receives and gains 50% bonus damage each time teammates lose more than 50% of their, their total health. Superman heals when his teammates receive damage. This is this is tankiness overall. And you need your teammates to get hit for you to heal. It's, it's not that great. I'm not impressed by this one. I would love to see some damage dealing potential with this one, not only tankiness, but the second part, he gains bonus damage each time they lose a certain percentage of their total health. So if their health is uh, gets lower than 50%, they, he receives a 50% bonus damage. But the sad thing is that it is only up to 4 times. These buffs last for the entirety of the match. That uh, equals plus 200% more uh, overall damage. It's less than King of Atlantis Aquaman, so it's not a beast of a damage dealer, and it's clearly that he's uh, weaker than uh, than even Raven that they added right now, which is a bummer, but it's decent. It may work decently. Uh, for Arena, it's very, very good, especially the healing combined with damage when you get uh, lower from a percentage of health combined with the first passive he may be a killer character for arenas but for raids he may be just a middle tier character second uh, third passive better you than me spreads 50 percent damage he receives between his teammates when he has less than 60 percent health i don't like this at all because if you get hit or uh, if you use the old blades on him all, the, all your teammates are going to get hit and you are going to end up with characters with all your team uh, with low health. Which is not a great idea. Um, from this passive, I see that all blades, it's not really ideal on him. So he may be just a character to use for solo raids. We don't know that for sure, but uh, that's what this passive says. 
it spreads the damage between all your characters so it's not that great um meanwhile you can keep him to absorb some damage because he has the tankiness but if he if he drops too low on health all of your teammates um, get low on health so i don't know about that um, it may work decently combined with a second passive because he receives the buff from the teammates losing health he, re he also heals from that but it's it doesn't seem like a killer combination in terms of damage or i don't know synergy for raids uh it may be only decent for arenas nevertheless let's go over the abilities because this is the most exciting thing the special one it's a punch but it has a 90 percent chance to steal five power bars and it only costs three power bars with silver doctor fate that's a one power bar special one that has a chance to steal five power bars so you are extra on four power bars this is just insane i really like this um this special effect but i would have loved to be on the special tree just imagine you are spamming special tree all day long and you're stealing power <laughs> do the special tree tag out you already have the power combo tag in right away you don't even need a power reduction character anymore that would have been so sick man but this makes him viable for phase four this makes him viable for uh bosses that uh, that have uh, i don't know a ko on the super move so this is amazing the special one is killer the special two is interesting it's a shield but it's like it's a shield that uh that makes a barrier around you for 9 seconds, it says 9 seconds of 120% something damage reflecting back to the opponent with the least amount of health. And if the opponent with the least amount of health has 1 HP, the damage will be reflected to the next weakest opponent. So this is cool, this may actually be so broken for arenas, because you don't need to press, um, to press this special uh continuously like a normal super shield you just press it once it activates a shield around you and then you reflect more than 100 percent of the incoming damage you reflect you reflect 120 percent the damage and you reflect it to the weakest health opponent to be able to finish it um to finish it uh, way faster this is very interesting of a concept for a special two but now we come with a special three the special three it's not that great so it's uh, just normal damage which is a bummer superman combines speed hit and flight to knock down his opponent all right if force shield is on if the special two is on uh in that period of time of nine seconds he also forces his foe to use a random special with a doable cost this is dumb whoever whoever thought about this special three is dumb af like you do the special tree normally you would want to continuously do a combo an infinite uh, or tag out to uh, tag in your combo builder or something but no if you have the shield on uh this uh, special tree forces the opponent to use this uh, to use a special a random special with twice the cost which is dumb all right you force the opponent to use a special but do you want to get hit by that special really who thought about that this is just time wasted if you are in a raid and you are hitting a boss you don't want the boss to do specials on you because that is just wasting time time you could have used to do more damage so you never want to want to put on your force shield and then spam the special tree but if you don't do that, the special tree is just, just basic damage. That's it. Just basic damage. Nothing else, nothing more. Which is trash. It's trash. You put power steel on the special one, you make an interesting special two, and then with the special three, the one that everybody uses the most, you don't do anything. You just do something that is that actually can backfire in your face. Oh boy. Alright. The the super move is called Kryptonian Crash. And when you are doing it it steals all power from the opponent so if the opponent is close to his super move you do your super move 
and then you power drain him and basically you steal all his power and you are again ready for a special tree this is nice this is an interesting concept that they are adding passives for special uh, for a uh, super move is very interesting uh, now as overall thoughts on this character he's cool looking he's definitely interesting on the passive and all of that stuff um he is not that uh, hard to get so he may be a free to play legendary for everybody uh but he's not broken by any means he's just decent he may be a middle tier character he's definitely better than the new wonder woman that he added but he's not broken he's not op he's not going to do insane damage in solo raids or something he doesn't have anything that signals a monster of a damage dealer king of atlantis aquaman 2.0 so that's it with this character it's uh, interesting i'm glad that they added him but i would have loved for them to make him a little bit more op because if you think about it superman is one of the most powerful characters um in the dc universe and for them to release the evil version of superman which is weaker in this game than king of atlantis aquaman then Raven, then I don't know, Primal Swamp thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I would have loved a, a, a Superman that may actually broke the game. I would have loved to see a, a version of a, of Superman that would have been the most powerful character that we have in the in the game, the number one damage dealing character in the whole game. Not Heartbreaker Harley Quinn, man. Even Harley is more powerful than superman in justice to mobile which doesn't make any sense whoever thought about the whole concept of which character should be the best which character is the worst uh need to be fired immediately so that's that's it guys this is collector of words superman let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are excited about this character if and if you guys are gathering resources to build him when he's going to be out take care guys peace